ducking for cover, the words of a Colorado Springs man who was shot by stray bullets inside his home last night. Tonight, he recounts with us the fear he felt in that moment. KRDO News Channel 13's Sean Rice is live outside his condo on LaSalle Street in the Springs after speaking with that man tonight. Hi, Sean. Yeah, Riley, those bullets came flying from up there on Constitution Avenue. They traveled down here where I'm standing a number of yards to the back of Robert Graff's condo. Those bullets nearly taking his life, and that suspect is still at large. It could be dead right now. You know, if it was like an inch to the right. Robert Graff experienced the unexpected Friday evening. I heard pop, 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 pop. Right, which was like, okay, that's gunfire. He was playing video games inside his home when bullets came flying through his bedroom window. And I felt something, so like, okay, I might have been hit. Yeah. So I just sort of dove under, like, um, so my desk is here, like bed's here. Yeah. So I just dove back here underneath the bed. The bullet holes still visible outside his home. However, the impacts of being hit by a bullet inside your home, less discernible for the victim. Uh, PDC doesn't show up for, month, for weeks or months usually. Uh, so we'll see. I'm fine right now, but yeah. it doesn't feel real right now. So yeah. I didn't sleep upstairs last night, probably went for a bit. Graf was only grazed by the bullet. The signs of injury still fresh on his mind. So it hit like the side of my back here. I'm gonna I can lift up the bandage like that. Yeah. So hit right there. It was a really good place to get hit. Yeah. If he gets hit here, obviously bad. You know, if you get yeah. hit in limbs, I mean, you get paralyzed. A night for Robert Graf that could have ended much different. Colorado Springs police tell me they have not yet identified who fired those bullets into the back of Graf's condo. Thankfully, Riley, he is recovering tonight. Certainly grateful to be alive. That is some pretty good news after a terrifying evening for that man. And Sean, you spoke with some of the neighbors, right? They, they've been talking about some pretty similar experiences they've been having. Riley, that's right. Multiple neighbors today when I spoke with them told me they actually heard gunshots in this area for several nights prior to Friday evening. But Colorado Springs police tell me the only record of shots fired they have in this area come from Friday evening. All right, Sean Rice leading us off tonight. Thank you, Sean.